Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Fabulous. No, I don't like that. Hey guys, welcome back. Fabulous Bree here, and I am back with another video. So this time, ah. Welcome back to my channel, Fabulous Brie here, and I am back with another video. I know I may look like the same person from the last video, and that is because I just decided to go ahead and record another video from that one. <laughs> so in this video, we are going to do a segment, another segment of is it bum or is it dumb? You know what I'm saying? Like, is this product good or is this stupid? Like this product is dumb. I don't even know why they created this. You know what I'm saying? So for this one, we are going to do a foundation. I've been using this, so I kind of wanted to like test it out or whatever just to see how it do for you guys. I can already tell you that this product is bomb and you should definitely buy this. Like this is a really good foundation. And the foundation that I'm talking about is from Dermablend. This is their Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigment. So y'all, let me, let me put y'all in. And yes, yes, my nails are still trash, okay? I see you, don't, don't talk about my nails. I bet your nails is messed up right now. Don't do it. But anyways, this foundation is from Dermablend. If it'll focus, and there we go. This is from Derma Blend, and I am in the shade 60 N. Yes, yes, I am in the shade 60 N, which is like a neutral. And they also sent me a 70 W for warm, but this one will probably be a little too red. This has like a red undertone, so I don't think this will match me at all. I haven't even tried to use it, so yeah, I'm gonna just save this for like my makeup kit, or maybe if I do catch a tan. It probably still won't match me <laughs> because I have more of like gold and yellow undertones versus like reddish dark undertones. So this one matches me really, really good. And it's crazy because I don't know how they match me by sending me a package without even asking me what shade I pretty much get all of the time. Oops, there we go. <laughs> and I still have a tube top on, I'm not naked, I promise. But yes, I was just so surprised that they matched me really, really good. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this demo of using this foundation. So let's just get to it. I'm pretty much just going to do like a natural face today. Not gonna really uh, do nothing too extraordinary. I don't even think I'm gonna wear lashes today, you know? It's just one of them days, you feel me? So yes, let's get into this Derma Blend. I can honestly say this is a bomb product. Like I'm not even, this is not even a sponsored video. Like this was a PR package that I received because I already was using their, remember I showed you guys their setting powder in my um, everyday lazy face. I have been using this setting powder like ever since they sent this to me. So this is not a sponsored video for Dumber Blend whatsoever. This is pretty much a segment that I'm starting on my channel of is it bum or is it dumb? So I'm either gonna already be testing out a product and come to you guys and talk about it or it'll be pretty much like a first impression. So it'll be like a mixture. This one, I've already been using it. So I can honestly come here and tell you guys that this is a bum product, like the coverage. Look, I'm not, I'm gonna just show y'all. I'm not gonna even really talk. I'm gonna just show y'all, so. It comes in like a little tube, the little suction tube thing. I can never know the name of what they would call it, but it comes in like one of those tubes, a little suction, it sucks it up and then you can like, a drop. You can suck it up into the drop and then you pour the drops on your face or whatever, but for some reason I must got like a defect one. When you squeeze the top, it doesn't really, see it just like, so what I do, I just pretty much just rub it on my face. <laughs> and I know that's not the correct way, but don't come for me, y'all, because this is just a sample that I got, I think. I mean, it is the full tube, but it's not working, so. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know, but I pretty much like doing it this way because a little bit goes a long way. So, yes. I think that should be good. I hope it's good. No, it is gonna be good. So, and then they also have this really, really good brush remember how i'm always telling you all like to using a flat dome brush would be like your best friend when applying your foundation because it gives you such a flawless finish like a natural finish so 
they, you know, this came with the package as well. So I'm saying, I already know they're gonna be selling it like separate. So what I'm telling you is, if you go somewhere to wherever they're selling Derma Blend, I would highly suggest picking up this brush as well because it blends it out so good and it feels so good. It doesn't feel hard, like it's stabbing you in the face like how some brushes do. Like this is a really, really good brush y'all. So what I like to do is just kind of pat it around. Y'all see that? Y'all see that coverage? Like that's crazy. And I used a little bit. I didn't have to even use like a whole bunch. And I'm just pretty much patting it in motion. Like just patting it around. Doing like a little rubbing, but not too much, you know? But y'all, this coverage is, this is everything. Like I'm obsessed with this foundation. This is literally my new foundation. Y'all look at this. Like, are y'all not seeing this? I need y'all to really look at this coverage. Like, this is crazy. And I love how it neutralizes after, you know, settling for a while onto your skin. It like, it looks very, very skin-like after you're done doing everything that you need to do with your face, you know? And it's really, really lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Cause you know, like some foundations, and this is not like a matte finish foundation. It doesn't really say. It's just a liquid foundation. So I would highly suggest maybe doing the step of, I don't know if y'all seen my video, to where if you wanna keep like a matte face all day, you would put um, setting powder on your face first and then go on top with your foundation. So you can have more of like a, a matte feel and your skin won't get too oily after a while. So I will say if you do have oily skin, this foundation will pro probably won't be in your best interest. Um, if you really do like how the coverage looks and everything and you wanna try it out, I would highly suggest doing the step before actually putting on the foundation. I know I didn't really do the step like I need to, but I would say maybe put um, some setting powder on your face first and then go on top with the foundation and then kind of go over it again with like a face powder when you're done doing everything to your face just to get that extra, you know, hold or whatever. Like this is, <laughs> this foundation is bum. Like it really snatches you up really, really good, y'all. Like. <laughs> So as for concealer, we wanna keep it very subtle. I don't think I wanna do like a highlighted, highlighted look, cause I'm not really doing like eyeshadow and anything or wearing lashes or anything like really glamming it up. I'm keeping it more natural, more subtle today. So I'm going to be using the concealer from LA Girl. This is in the shade Fun. We're just gonna rub this on, put some down the nose, chin, keep this bow and then forehead. And just to kind of like give it a little bit more of a brightness, just a little bit, not too much, I like to go in with the MAC Prep and Prime um, highlighter pen. This is in the shade Bright Forecast. And I just like to do a couple of dots within this concealer just to add a brightness to it, just a little bit. Nothing like, a, not too much of a highlighted look, if that makes sense. And as of lately, for uh, blending out my concealer, I've been using this brush, like I use it to put on my foundation and I use it to blend out my concealer. Like, that's how good this brush is. Like, I don't even know how else to explain it. Like, it's really, like it blends it out really, really good. But I would say any like flat dome brush will be like your best friend when it comes to like putting on your makeup. To me, like it works in my favor and I feel like it'll work in someone else's favor too, you know? So I'm just gonna pat this out. And you see how like it's really, really smooth and it's not really picking up too much of the product. Kind of like how a beauty blender would do. Like a damn beauty blender, it will smooth it out and like really blend out that concealer for you and your foundation but it will kind of pick up the product in a way, you know? So you will keep having to have to um, add like product right there and blend it out. Versus this, you don't have to, you can just do this one good time and just pat it out and you, you're pretty much straight. Like you don't have to go back in and touch it up or anything of that nature. So now let me draw my eyebrows on really, really fast. Not too much, cause in my last video, <laughs> 
I showed you guys how I cleaned up my brows and I kind of have them already shaped out and I filled them in a little bit for the end of the video, which I didn't show, I just filled them in. So now I'm just kind of gonna touch it up just a little bit. And I like dark eyebrows, y'all. I know some of you guys probably don't like the whole dark eyebrow look, but with me, I'm like truly obsessed with the whole dark eyebrow because I have such thin eyebrows, so it doesn't really look that good or whatever. So I have to like fill them in. I wish I had thick eyebrows like this in real life. Like <laughs> now that I have my brows together, I didn't realize that my damn camera had shut off in the middle of me doing my brows. But um, I pretty much just blended out the concealer under my brows and we're just keeping it very subtle. I just cleaned them up a little bit, give them more of a crisp look or whatever. So now I am going to go in with the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. And I like to use two. And the reason why is because this one, the lighter one is to use to kind of like brighten the under eye a little bit. And this one is used for when I'm baking and it doesn't leave like that white cast right there. Like how sometimes it will do that in my pictures and I hate that. But um, I find that this color, the warm saffron doesn't leave that um, white cast right there. It blends in, it's kind of like my skin tone. So yeah. I use the cool beige for my under eye concealer and my chin and my forehead and my nose and stuff because those are the areas that I want to highlight and also set. All right, and then now I'm going to go into the warm saffron to highlight under the area where I like contour, you know, to kind of bake under there. And then we're good to move to the next step while that's sitting in place. So now I am going to go in with my handy dandy True Complexion Contour Palette. Um, lately I have not been using a cream contour. I've been using just strictly a powder contour and I really, really like the um, results of it. It doesn't look too like blotchy right there, you know? So I just pretty much dip, dab, dip, dab back and forth between the light and the brown, the dark brown color and just really focus, focus it right here on the cheeks, the cheekbone, you know, just to give the illusion of a high cheekbone. You see that? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> and then that's that, and then I'm ready to kind of dust off everything, you know? Oh, wrong brush. Ew. It's gonna have dark brown stuff all over my face. And then I'm pretty much just going to finish up my face and then we're gonna come back and talk about the foundation because I'm really just doing like a basic everyday face and you guys have seen that plenty of times. So, you know, I'm just going to put on my blush, do my highlight, put some mascara on and pretty much just going to wear um, lip gloss today. I'm not gonna really wear like a lipstick. So I'll come back when I'm putting on my lip gloss. All right, you guys. So I am pretty much done with doing my whole face. Um. During the summertime, I don't really spray down my face with the lock, with the um, setting, like a face setting spray because my skin is a little bit oilier than normal during the summertime because it is more hot and more humid outside. So I feel like it would not make sense for me to do that. Um, God damn. So yeah, anywho, before I kick <laughs> my stand, I'm gonna have to move this, turn it another way so I can stop kicking it. I'm tall here, you know, I got long legs. So for my lips, I'm going to just line my lips with a brown lip pencil. Is this in brown or is this in? So now for lip gloss, I am going to be using the Ultra Glossy Lip. This is from the LRA and a ColourPop collection and this is in the shade Stilo. Mm -hmm. Yep, it gives you like a nude lip gloss, you know? But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much for, you know, this look or whatever. So back to this foundation, I just kind of wanted to give you a demo on how I apply it and what brush I am using with it, which is the Derma Blend Kabuki kind of brush. It's like a flat dome brush, which is perfect. I feel like you can use this with any foundation, but you know, as for this video, because we're doing the is it bum or is it dumb for Derma Blend for their new liquid foundations, I would say, this is a bomb product. Like, <laughs> I really, really like it. Like, I've literally been using this foundation pretty much every day. When I got this like two weeks ago, ever since I've got it, I've been using it every day. So I've been using it for like a good two weeks now. And I can honestly say this is like a bomb product. 
like you will not like be disappointed because you know Dermot Blend is known for giving like full coverage to like cover tattoos to cover like you know certain imperfections in your skin that you're not happy with you can use the Dermot Blend makeup to cover it like it will completely give you that full coverage that you need and with this liquid foundation I mean it gives you that full coverage but it's not as cakey like how some of their other product products are as far as trying to blend it and like trying to um cover a you know like a tattoo or anything but let's see though like i'm gonna see if i can cover my tattoo with this foundation so you probably can use this as well you know but i probably wouldn't use this this is probably good for just your face but i just want to kind of see if it'll if it'll hide it which i think it would i don't know let's see <laughs> hold on let's see here Oh, whoop, 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 hold on. Oh no. You probably have to add like a lot, a lot to cover it. Cause you can still kind of see my tattoo through there. So I will not say this will be good for like covering tattoos. If you got tattoos on your face, girl, you might have to add some concealer first and then add your, um, like some orange concealer, then a regular concealer. And then you will have to, um, add your foundation on top of there <laughs> but as far as like using it by itself to cover um tattoos or anything of that nature i will say it does cover dark spots and it does cover up your dark circles so that's a plus if you have like the skin imperfection versus like tattoos this foundation will work really really good for you so this is bomb this is bomb but anyways you guys that is the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial was, was, was it a tutorial well i guess you could say a demo tutorial of the new derma blend foundation this is the flawless creator multi-use liquid pigment so yes and i like it and it's pretty bum so definitely spend your coin on the foundation if you're looking for something new and you like the way this look or whatever <laughs> but anyways you guys thank you for tuning in this time and like i always say i will talk to you all in my next video bye oh and um don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have not already subscribed girl like what are you doing what are you doing why haven't you not subscribed you know what i'm mean? saying like i don't get it i don't get it i don't i really don't so do that it's right here or right here it's right here it's right here it won't take that long just click it and be a part of this fab family all right